Okay, welcome back to Felbriganda. Let's take a look at that new tower I was uh, working on last time. I've done quite a bit to it. You can see there's a big square monster of a tower here now. I'll give you a quick tour before I do the next bit. So we've got a wall into the lower area of the tower here. Got another door through here which takes you into the interior of the castle wall. And another door here that takes you into the lowest part of the tower, which you can see I've made into a multi-level thing. And I've put these new windows in here, which I think look really pretty, pretty good. So I've dropped them in here. So let's get back out of here. Get back into the tower. Shut the door. Open the door. Don't need to go in there, so we'll keep it shut so don't get any monsters appearing. So here's the side of the big thing. So if we come in here, see there's the gate through onto the top of the wall. We've got another window here for shooting. Oh look, someone's burning out there. Some baddie coming out of the dark regions. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to shut that. We've got another door where obviously where I came in. And we've got our staircase here. So let's go up the stairs. And here we are at the next floor up, which doesn't have any doorways or anything, but it does have another window. Which looks, looks out onto the nice view. Nice iron railing to stop you falling down the stairs, and it goes up. And this is up to the top level. Another iron railing here. So let's take a peek over there so you can see the whole wall. See how tall this tower is. It doesn't reach up above the roof as yet. Oh, another baddie's burning. That's good. Let's take a quick jaunt over here so you can see it from the hillside. You can see those windows give it quite a bit of character now. I was a bit worried it was going to be a bit square, but that, that's worked. And I've used up down, upside down stairs down here to create a bottom to it and give it some interest. Let's get out of there out of the water. See, it gives it sort of an upside down pyramid base to it, but I want to add something new to it today. I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like, so let's... I'll learn you, piggy. Yeah, I want to add like a lookout tower to it, so let's see if I can actually fly on top without crashing. There we go. So, I think here is where I want it. So what I'm going to do is just switch this out for these stacked columns. That's what I want. I'm going to build up the tower now. Oh, just above the roof now. There we go. I'm well above it now. Uh, right. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. My crouch key won't stay crouched. What's that all about? Alright, let's get a stack stone and see if we can work with that. Okay. Can I press and hold it? I can. And let's put... Why won't it go on there? Come on. Just on the edge, please. There we go. Something to stand on now. So we're going to come up this pillar. Press and hold the crouch key again. And let's build a little something to hang off. It's going to need a wall around it, which now I think about it, I'll probably do that with slabs. Because then I don't need to go out another whole block. Which I don't really want to do. But I... Oh, how can I put slabs? Oh, I know how I can do this. Ah, oh, I bet I haven't got any slabs. Sigh. Well, I need to go down anyway. Let's go get some slabs. Plop. Just want... 
standard stone slabs and I'm pretty sure I've got a whole ton of those in here limestone bedrock did I have oh I had them on me all the time that is so annoying tell you what when I grow up I won't do this sort of mistake when I grow up and I'm an adult I won't make that sort of silly mistake you know when you're adult and you stop playing games you know so let's put ladder in here uh, I hope I brought enough not entirely sure eight yeah it should be enough there we go yep okay so what I do let's get it on my toolbar can't believe I had them on my toolbar and didn't realize. Right, so crouch, head out here and put a slab there. And now I want to rotate it. That way. And do the same there. That's it. So now I come over here, crouch again, put another slab here and play the rotation game now uh, that way that's it so now over here I can just put another slab there and another slab there uh, I need to put some more stack stone here to abut this against but to show you what I'm doing let's take this out take this out there you go and those blocks stay there so I've now got this sort of lookout up here Should I put a one? No, not that. Let's put a slab there as well. There we go. Do you know, I could put a gate here, actually. That might work, or it might put the gate in the middle. I'm not quite sure. All right, let's uh, get up here. Play the crouching game again. Put a block there. And let's rotate it. Oop, there we go. And now I put a block there. Drop down. Take this out. Take this out. I'm getting quite vertiginous here. I'm starting to feel <laughs> feel vertigo problems. Not something I normally suffer from. It's a game thing, apparently. Okay. Do I have a gate on me? Now I've got a fence, but I don't want to put a fence there. <sighs> Let's go see and try out a gate at least. Oops! Yeah, one day, when I've grown up, I'll learn how to fly. Right, that'll be crafted wood items, if anywhere. I don't have a... Oh. Right, okay. Gate. Oh, hang on. I might have a gate of some sort over here. Fences. No? What about up here? No. Okay, so. Gate. Did have an iron gate, didn't I? So, iron, obsidian, wood. Wood slabs, rods, and twine. Okay, so wood slabs, twine. Rods. Don't know why the twine was in there. It shouldn't have been. There we go. Now got a, a crafted a gate. So let's get that on the hot bar and go see if it's going to work. I have no idea whether it'll work or not. But we don't have to actually fly up there. Doesn't look that tall from here. I thought it'd look taller than that. That's a little disappointing, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's go in. Shut the door. Go up the stairs. Keep going up. Up, 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 up. And up the ladder. Up into here. And let's see what we can do with number four. That works quite well, actually. 
it does sit on the edge of the block it sits on the inside edge so I guess I can rotate it oh it only rotates in one angle I was just going to experiment with that okay <laughs> all right so let's um carefully back out Shut that. Hmm. That's our lookout now. The thing is, I want to get and put ramps underneath it. Because that doesn't look very good. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to have to use blocks of some sort to get out here. Let's, let's do this again. The old uh, there, there, there. Yeah, let's go out one more. There we go, and go over here. I've got nine ramps on me. Let's see what I can do with that. So not really sure what to do with ramps now I'm here could just do this or should I have two layers of ramps going down to it so I'll have another one here I think that's probably going to look better. What about one here as well? Oh, I think that's better. That's better. Okay, time to uh, do the other side. So I'm going to have to do the old crouching game. Is that going to be enough to let me get round? Not really. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so high. It's so high. Yeah, so let's put a ramp there. Like that. Yeah, that's it. Right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. And that, and that, and that. Not that one. I'm standing on that one. one and that one that looks better I wonder if I should have corner ramps there as well it's not strictly necessary but let's have a quick look at what we've done hmm okay It needs lights. It needs a light on top of it to make it stand out. I kind of like that. It's obtuse. And I like obtuse. Kind of looks like a skull face a bit from this angle. Cool. All right, that's all for now, and I like it. See you next time. Bye.